friends Ashutosh here I'm again here uh, with the new video and uh, with the new topic today's topic is verb so what is verb how we will define the verb it's written here on the screen in the very first line verb is word used to tell or assert something about some person or thing the verb may tell us also like what a person or thing does and what is done to a person or thing and last what a person or thing is in simple language I can say that uh, when somebody doing something or something is being done by somebody that is work for example Savita swims what Savita is doing Savita swims Savita is swimming. The swim is what? Swim is what? Next example. Mohan is punished. What is done to the Mohan? Mohan is punished. The punished is what? Punished is what? Next. The dog is dead. What a person or thing is? Dog is what? Dog is dead. So dead is what? Dead is what? Here is a picture also on the screen like guys a person if somebody is writing with the pen so what he is doing he is writing so writing is what writing is work now one very important thing but not mandatory for us the types of work sorry uh, kinds of work so there are three popular kinds of work auxiliary work ordinary work the last work of incomplete prediction I will not discuss in details about this uh, because it's not a part of our syllabus. So, just enough. Just to know the name of the three types of work: auxiliary work, ordinary work, and verb of incomplete prediction. Here I will discuss about transitive verb and intransitive verb. Uh, let's begin with the slide. What is transitive verb? Uh, there are some sentences in which the action passes over from the subject to the object. The verbs used in these sentences are called transitive verb. Means, when action passes over from the subject to the object, verb used in these sentences is called as transitive verb. Very simple. Uh, let's go with the example. The boy picked the stone. And second one is the child hugs the mother. Means, the boy picked the stone. The boy picked what? Why pick the stone? Means we need objects to complete the sentence. Thus, by the pick this, what pick this? Transitive verb. In the same way, in second, the child hugs the mother. Child hugs to whom? Child hugs to the mother. Means we need objects. When we need objects, means verb used in those sentences known as transitive verb. In the same way, when we do not need verb to complete, uh, I'm sorry, uh, when we do not need an object to complete the sentence, verb used in those sentences known as intransitive verb. Example, the baby sleeps. We do not need object to complete the sentence. Means baby sleeps. It's it itself it's a complete sentence. Sunil ran. We do not need object. But still, object is written here. Sunil ran a long distance. But if we finish the sentence uh, with ran, then also it is complete sentence. So, means ran and sleep uh, is what? Ran and sleep is intransitive verb. Subject verb agreement. Why subject verb agreement? Because uh, this is very important part for examination. Here we will discuss about uh, some rules, rules related to the verbs. These rules will help us in the examination to find out the errors. Let's begin. First is if two or more similar nouns are joined by and, a and the and, the verb used will be plural. Means, when two subjects are there in one sentence and both subjects are singular and connected with and, the verb used will be plural. Let's take an example. Example is, he and I were going to the market. He is what? He is a singular noun and I is also, I is a singular noun and the both singular subjects connected with and that's why verb used here is plural verb is what? verb is plural next example Ram and Mohan are friends Ram and Mohan both are singular nouns 
both are connected with and that's why verb used here is plural next rule if two singular nouns joined by and and point out the same thing a person the verb used must be singular means when two singular nouns joined by and and point out or refer to the same thing the same person is known sorry i will repeat uh, when two singular nouns joined by and and point out to the same thing a person verb used must be singular clear like rice and curry is the favorite food of punjabi rice and curry is what rice and curry is both refers to the food that's the verb used here is singular next example the collector and district magistrate is away collector and district magistrate both are what one collector and district magistrate both are of one person they are we are talking about like individual person clear so hence rule is proof like when two singular nouns connected with and and point out to the same thing or same person verb use must be singular here is an exception like if we put article the before the both the subjects either they are referring uh, representing or pointing out to the same thing in this case verb used would be plural let's take an example the philosopher and the teacher are dead philosopher and teacher both are the same person but here what happened article the is preceded like both the subjects preceded by article the that's the verb used here is plural last and very simple rule in case two subjects are joined by as well as the verb agrees with the first subject wherever you get a subject joined by as well as will go with the first subject for example kanta as well as her children is playing is playing kanta is what kanta is the first subject clear and first subject is singular kanta is a singular as per the rule when two subjects connected with as well as then we always go with the first subject so first subject is similar so verb will go also similar next example the children as well as their mother are playing children is what children is plural so verb would be plural that's why plural verb used here the thing here we have to remember is the difference between rule first and rule second because rule first and rule second both are quite similar and rule first when two singular nouns connected by uh, connected by and verb used will be plural and in the second rule if two singular nouns join by and and point out to the same thing verb used would be singular so this is the difference that we have to keep in our mind neither either every each everyone and many are followed by a singular verb it means uh, when in any sentence if we get these words if any sentence begins with these words neither either every each everyone and many are then verb will be singular it means blindly we can use the singular verb for example either of the plants is to be adopted second one neither of the two brothers is sure to pass the thing we have to understand here either of the plants plants is what plants is plural but either is there in the sentence that's why we use the verb is singular same with the second subject we talking about two brothers two brothers means plural but neither is used that's why verb is singular. next uh, when two subjects are joined by either or and neither nor the verb agrees with the second subject like when sentence begin with either or or neither nor then we have to use the verb according to the second subject the subject near to it for example either my brother or i am to do this verb i am am we used verb am here just because of the i because i is the second subject and as per the rule we have to go with second subject second example neither he nor they are prepared to this verb i hope it's clear there is a plural that's why verb used here also is plural next rule when two subjects of different numbers or persons and both are connected by and the verb used must be plural sachin and his parents 
have gone to the Kolkata. Such an is singular, and his parents is plural. Rule says when two subjects of different numbers. So here is what happened. Such an is singular, and his parents is plural. So that's why there are two different subjects. So verb will go with plural one, and that's why we have used have. Have is plural verb. Next example. He and I are friends. He and I both are two different numbers, two different subjects. That's why we will use the plural verb, and plural is used here. Rule is a noun singular in form and collective in sense takes a singular verb. Means the noun is singular in form but seems like collective. Or plural one, we use singular verb. For example, committee. Committee is what? Committee is. Uh, sorry, first read the example. Committee is unanimous in its opinion. Committee is what? Committee is a panel of four or five people, or sometimes ten people, or more than that. So it seems plural, but we denote the committee as a one. That's why we will use. Uh, singular verb with committee. Same with next example. The council has chosen its president. Council. Council has uh, many members, but their decision is unanimous. They unanimously chosen its president. That's why what we use singular verb. Next example. Parliament has elected its speaker. Parliament is what? Parliament is a group of MLAs. Uh, sorry, MPs. And uh, too many people, but as Parliament unanimously elected its president, that's why we use has means has is what has is singular verb. There is exception of this rule. Let's read. Normally, when there is oneness in action, the verb is singular. But when there is diversity and every member of the collective noun has to be mentioned, the verb used must be singular. Like when uh, these words committee, council, parliament, and in the uh, example here jury, if these words used and their decision is one, like uh, they are doing any decision, they are taking any decision unanimously, verb will go as a singular. But when they are divided, when their decision is divided, then we will use the plural verb. For example, the jury were divided in their opinion. Jury is what? Jury is a panel of judges, and one panel, uh, like uh, they have minimum four or five judges. So, jury is panel of four or five members. That's why, uh, not on this basis, we will use uh, the plural verb with it. Why? Because uh, we will use plural verb because their decision is not unanimous. Okay, they are divided over the decision. So that's why with jury here we use plural verb. But when we say the jury uh, has given the unanimous decision, then we use their word has similar verb because jury is unanimous. In the same way with the next example, the committee are divided on one minor point, and the second one is sorry, last one is the crew were taken prisoners. Next rule, a great many is always followed by a plural noun and a plural verb. Like when we get a great many, finally we have to use plural noun and plural verb. Example: A great many men have come. A great many is used. Verb is plural. Verb used is have. And a great many students have been declared successful. A great many is used. That's why we use verb have. Next rule. If two subjects are joined by with, together with, no less than, in addition to, and no, the verb agrees with the first subject. Like when we get these words, we will use verb according to the first subject. Example: The boy with his parents has arrived. The boy with his parents. Like uh, sentence is uh, connected by with. That's why we use singular verb. Next, the officer, together with his subordinates, was present in the function. The officer, together with the word used is together. Together with that's why 
verb is singular next rule nouns plural in form but singular in meaning take a singular verb like noun which seems plural but their meaning is singular we use singular verb for example news this news was broadcasted from all india radio so news is what news it seems plural but this is not a uh, plural this is a singular verb you know uh, i will attach the list of those words uh, in the end of the slide right so it will be easy for you all to identify such a word next rule when two subjects are joined by not only but also the verb must be agree with the second subject for example not only india but also pakistan is poor pakistan is second subject second subject is singular that's why verb used here is singular next not only the principal but also the students were laughing students students is plural that's why verb used here is also plural now not only the children but also their mother was playing their mother their mother is what their mother is singular that's why verb used here is also singular next rule when two subjects are joined by or o r or the verb used must be according to the second subject i think this is a uh, quite similar with the rule of either or and neither nor okay so there were either were attached but now here is we talking about only or if two subjects are joined by or the verb must be agree with the second subject so example is krishna or her sisters were there her sisters sister, her sisters is plural that's why verb used here is plural mohan or sohan is responsible for all this sohan is singular that's why verb is also used is singular next rule some nouns which are singular in form but are plural in numbers take a plural verb i told you again, uh, earlier like i will attach uh, the list of those words so it will be easy to identify uh, such a nouns example people were shouting people is what people is a collection a group of too many men too many men and women clear so that's why people is a plural verb so people is plural the so verb used is also plural cattle cattle are grazing cattle is a group of animals clear cattle is a plural word and verb used is are are is also what or is plural next rule when a plural noun denotes some particular quantity or amount considered as whole it takes singular verb very important rule let's take a uh, let's take an example 500 rupees is a big amount like 500 rupees read the rule when a plural noun denotes some particular quantity or amount considered as whole particular quantity 500 rupees we cannot take 500 rupees as a plural one because this is a 500 rupees indicates the one quantity clear 500 rupees is a one amount that's why we will take 500 rupees as a singular verb singular subject sorry and verb will use will be also singular that's why we have used here is and is is singular one next 100 miles is a long distance 100 miles decade one distance okay one complete a whole distance and that's why verb used here is also singular and last the title of books names of countries or subject which look like plural but actually are in similar number are followed by singular verb for example mathematics united states of america the arabian nights like these are the words which seems plural but actually they are singular mathematics mathematics is a one subject okay the united states of america is a one country the arabian nights is the name of one book so whenever we get uh, this type of word we will use the similar verb uh, another example is like uh, uh, civics and uh, physics economics 
lot more the united kingdom the united arab emirates and lot more i hope you get it and uh, now it will be easy for you all to identify the errors thank you okay thanks for watching and uh, thanks for your time thanks from bottom of my heart that you have given the time so if you like my video then please share it on your facebook wall as well as don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button so thank you very much once again cheers god bless you uh, i'll back with a new video and a new video will be this time politics the constituent assembly right thanks a lot bye